It says here that pipes 1 and 2 are exactly twice as long as pipe 3. Pipe 2 is open at both ends, while pipe 1 and 3 have closed ends on the bottom. Also remember that a harmonic must have at least one node and one anti-node to be present. Okay, so which pipe has a higher note? One or two? Well, based on whether it's a closed tube or an open tube, we know how long of a wavelength it is. For one wavelength in a closed pipe, we need four times the length of the pipe. For an open pipe, we only need 2L. Okay? Now, whichever one has the biggest wavelength is going to have the smallest or lowest frequency. Whatever has a shorter wavelength will have a higher frequency. Well, since the first wavelength for the, the wavelength for the first harmonic for this guy is going to be 4L, and since for the second guy is only going to be 2L, since this has a shorter wavelength, it's going to have a higher frequency. Okay? Which pipe has a lower note? 1 or 3? Well, since this is a closed pipe 2, it's also going to be 4L. But remember, this is 4 of these lengths, while this is only 4 of these little lengths. So it's only going to be half as much. This is going to have a higher note because it has a shorter wavelength. But it asks which pipe has a lower note. That would be pipe 1. Which pipe has a lower note? 2 or 3? Well, since 2 is going to be 2 of these lengths, and 3 is going to be 4 of these, they are actually going to have the same wavelength and therefore the same frequency. Okay. D asks, is the open end of a pipe a node or antinode? In order for the harmonic to be possible, there must be an antinode at the open end. So how many antinodes does pipe 1 have? Well, if we have a node here, we'll have an antinode at the top. So how many antinodes does pipe 1 have? 1. How many antinodes does pipe 2 have? Well, because it's an open pipe, it's going to have antinodes on both ends and one node in the center. So for a closed pipe, you have to have at least one node, one antinode. For an open pipe, you have to have at least one node, but two antinodes. So pipe 2 has two antinodes. How many nodes does pipe 2 have? That would be one. Right here. All right, label the location of the nodes and antinodes for pipe 3. Okay, the node would be at the bottom and the antinode will be at the top. How many wavelengths long is pipe 3? Well, since it takes four of these lengths, the pipe is actually a quarter of a wavelength. Okay, so it says if pipe 3 is 12 centimeters long and the speed of sound is 330 meters per second, what are the frequencies that are possible the first possible harmonics for pipe 3. All right, remember that with a closed pipe, you can only have the odd harmonics. Okay, so if this, if it takes four of these lengths to make the first wavelength, then four times 12 is going to give us our first wavelength, 48 centimeters. But we don't want centimeters, we want meters. So this is 0.48 meters. Now we know that velocity is equal to frequency times wavelength. If the velocity is 330 meters per second, we can find the frequency by taking that speed, dividing by the wavelength. So we'll pull out our trusty calculator. 330 divided by 0.48 will give us the frequency of 687.5. So the first harmonic will have 687.5 hertz, okay, and then the second possible harmonic is actually not harmonic 2, it's harmonic 3, because remember, in a closed pipe, we can only have the odd harmonics. So 687.5 times 3 gives us a frequency of 2062.5.
And then the next possible harmonic will be harmonic 5. So 687.5 times 5, which is 3,437. 0.5 hertz.